So for today, we're going to be looking at the King's Fall armor set. I finally got all the all the classes armor. Thank God. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys prefer this format where I show you all the classes or do you, would you like to see when when the armor drops? I just review it immediately. I personally like this just because all the classes get to see each each other's armor set. And I think it, it's much better this way. But I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, also, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it all really does help and motivate motivates me to make more content for you guys. So, so let's just get into the armor. So the King's Fall armor is really cool. It's It hasn't changed since D1, which I think is pretty good or a smart choice, I should say. I do think the D1 raids should have different armor sets as a hard mode. So that way we can get different ones or gr give us the the ones from the April update. I think it was the April update. Uh, maybe it one of the updates that gave us uh, new armor sets for the old raids. I would love that as well, but that's not that type of video. The armor itself is really good. We're going to go from the head down. So for the helmets, I think the Warlocks have the best helmet. Like hands down, I think it's super cool. Not saying the Titans don't have a good helmet. I think it's super cool, especially since you're wearing the uh, one of the first bosses helmet or the, their head as a helmet. I think that's super metal. And the Hunter, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I've never been a big fan of the helmet just because it does look cool. But at the same time, this armor is so distinct that if you don't wear it with hive pieces, then it's just going to look weird. Uh, for the chest piece, I think the Warlocks have the best chest piece. Like that's not even, that's not even a hard thing to, to like look for. It's so good that I will be using this chest piece for a lot of my hive themed uh, looks because it just looks so good for the other classes. They're not bad. They're definitely not bad. I think the Titans has a really good chest piece for hive themed stuff. And the Hunters also is pretty good for a Hive themed piece, but I do think their arms are a tad bit better just because I like the carapace on both sides. I This is the rare, rare moments for me that I actually think the asymmetry works in this set because I really like the fact that the, the uh, shoulder pauldron on the right side, it looks so cool. And the other side has like spikes on the forearm again. This is like the rare case where I actually think the asymmetry works in this one. The Titans, I think the symmetry works really well. It looks really cool. I really like the arms uh, so much so that the example set that we're going to be using for a future video actually is using the arms for all of the classes, even the Warlocks. And I, I love how the Warlocks came out. They, theirs came out really good. I think I have a thumbnail already done for it and I'll have it right now but just be aware that once the, the video is out i will actually put the card so that way you guys can see it but very excited for that video to come out because i love how the warlocks came out as for the warlocks it's very boring i know i just praised the the warlock to on uh, the arm specifically but it is very generic very boring i think the stripes uh is a detriment to the whole set i don't like it personally but even then there is there are ways to like make it work and regarding the video that i'm talking about i think i made it look really good uh for the boots i think this is hard because i do think the titans have the best boots but i do like the, the hunters just because you can use it with pretty much anything else because you just only have like two bone pieces on the right side and other than that that's it there's no other bone piece so you can use this with other pieces or very minimal hive pieces which i think is cool like you can use this with the young ahankara spine that would look really cool with it just you would just have to combine the color of the bone really well other than that i think that would look really cool because it's bones like not not a lot of people are going to be like that's actually a hum bone and the one at the bottom is actually like no one's going to do that they were just going to be like oh that's really cool minimalistic bone pieces that's super cool so i do think the titan and the hunter have really good boots but i will say the titans have the best boots warlocks uh i'm gonna be real with you very disappointing i know i said the minimalistic bone look is really good for the hunter i don't think that much with the warlock just because it's not, it's so small and 
most of the time you're going to be covering it with a cloak anyways or with their chest piece that doesn't really matter at the end of the day i think i would have liked it if the boots the actual like feet had bones there i think that would have been much better on both sides as well for the class items i think the hunter has the best one like it's not even fair although i do think the titan also has a really good one i think it's between those two again just because i love that the cloak has like like almost teeth coming out of the hood and the bones at the back of the hood look really cool as well or i should say cloak and the only reason i like the titans is because the tips of the cloak actually have uh like spikes coming out and it almost looks like uh like a winged uh like texture so i think that's why the titans look really good for me personally and then the warlock honestly it's all right it's not terrible i mean it's an oryx face it's it's fine it changes color which is really cool speaking of color let's look and let's just look at the shaders so for echoed anger i actually really like a lot of the colors that i'm seeing right now uh i usually don't like to see white from echoed anger i usually like to see either red or that like blue steel color i really like to see those two colors pop out a little more but I will say that the red is a little too much on the Warlock chest piece because not only is the red on the cloth texture, but it's also on the bone color. I think if they reversed it or not reversed it, but if I think if they added the the blue steel into at least parts of the bones on the chest piece, I think that would have been a lot better or add it to the cloth texture. But I'm pretty sure the blue steel color is mostly an off color to uh armored pieces which is why you see it on the titans and the hunters uh i don't really have much to say about the titan or hunter i think a lot of the colors are really well uh i personally would never use a whole armor set with a shader just because i would never use a whole armor set usually so this is much more for you guys because again i'm not i i don't do this like almost rarely do i ever do this for Abyssinian Gold, I think this is a pretty good color as well. I love how the chest piece looks for the Warlocks. You definitely want to see the bone color be a different color than the cloth because then it just looks kind of weird and just mute. So not a lot, not a lot of things to say about this one. I think a lot of the cloth is looking really good. The only thing that kind of bugs me is the bone color. Like I don't like Abyssinian Gold's uh, armor color. I think the brown is just kind of uh, lackluster. So personally for me, I would probably never use this, I say this, and I did actually use it for an example set. So maybe I should shut the fuck up. And then for, and then for Sato Tribe, I think this looks amazing, uh, specifically on, I will actually on all the classes, it looks really good. I was going to say for the Warlocks, it looks really good because it actually does look really good. I love the, how the cloth has just like all this dark coloring. And then you see the contrast of the almost white blue uh bone color i think that's really cool this is definitely an easy dub i would definitely wear this shader with it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below i personally like the armor a lot i just think that they really should have given us the updated armor as the hard mode uh it reward i think that would have been a lot better people would have been much happier with it uh because it does give the the rate a lot more longevity especially if you drop it once a week for each class uh kind of like how the dungeons are i think that would have been amazing or at least uh which dungeon am i thinking of i think uh prophecy i think that's the one that did that i think that would have been much better because then at least you minimum have to do the master raid or master yeah master raid uh master raid uh five times in a week for three classes at most that's like 15 weeks for most people if, if they don't want to do it like consecutively in a week so i think that would have been a lot better we get some cool armor you do them as ornaments please don't make them armor drops just do them as ornaments so that way we can just immediately use them and that would have been an easy dub but let me know what you guys think in the comments below is that too much to ask for i would love to know your thoughts if you guys want to follow me again links are in the description below thank you i thank you all all of you guys for blowing up the channel i really appreciate it and I will see you guys later.